beautiful, happy, 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 beautiful, amazing day world. Uh, Dr. Bob Rakowski here out of Houston, Texas. Notice that this cover slide says virtual opportunity meeting. So what kind of opportunity is this? It's an opportunity to get informed. It's an opportunity to add value. It's an opportunity to share. It's an opportunity to improve your own health. It's a opportunity to improve your social circle. It's an opportunity to improve the health of the world. And I'll share with you how we can do that. I think uh, in a very easy way, a little bit more on me. Uh, I have been in clinical practice for 28 years. Part of my claim to fame is I've worked with world champion athletes from uh, nearly every major professional sport. I have also lectured on six different continents, not yet Antarctica, uh, teaching continuing education seminars to doctors. So I have a background in health. Uh, I also wanna share some information about my, my generalized background. I have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. So I'm a man of science. Uh, I also have background working in the hospital. I have a nursing degree on top of a doctorate in chiropractic and postgraduate degrees in nutrition and kinesiology. So a pretty broad perspective is what I'm gonna share. And I wanna start with a little update on this coronavirus just as of this morning. And I show a picture here of the individual that the World Health Organization has pointed as the head of the team lead for this coronavirus issue. And he has a graph of the corona incidents in China. And one of the things I wanna share with you is that Dr. Bruce Aylward says this, he says, uh, about 80% of the cases are mild. In fact, some are so mild that people won't even know they have it. He says about 14% are severe, 6% become critically ill. So even if you're exposed to this virus, chances are that it's going to be uh, a mild exposure. Who's most at risk? People 65 and above with a, a pre-existing health condition that makes their immune system compromised. So when you look at the graphs of how this has progressed, this top graph here is China. We can see that that's leveled off where it's not, doesn't seem to be increasing the spread anymore. Very, very level. Italy is at leveling off, a little early to tell. Uh, Iran, South Korea definitely leveled off. So you're drawing the United States is leveling off. Japan and Singapore uh, all started out as fairly flat. If we take a look at this virus, uh, this is uh, a measure of how reproducible it is among people. They call it the RR naught. So one thing I want you to know is that SARS, that was a, a pandemic that was around uh, about 15 years ago or so. This one was more spreadable than this COVID-19, the current virus. MERS, that was a, a pretty rough one in terms of deadliness, but it wasn't very spreadable. Then look at things that we're familiar with. Mumps, a lot more spreadable than COVID-19. Rubella, measles, uh, and some people say, well, thank God we have vaccines for those, but I want to show you the real data. This is from the Journal of the American Medical Association and the death rate from infectious disease. So the measles vaccine came available uh, in the early 1960s, and we can see that death from infectious disease was pretty flat. And even after vaccines were pretty widespread, upgraded in, in 1982. So, you know, what's the reason for that? Uh, well, uh, the reason for the dramatic decline was improved sanitation, hygiene, and nutrition, uh, and we're certainly going to promote that. So when we look at pandemics in perspective, this is a graphic that looks at how virulent things were, how deadly they were, and then I'll blow it up a little bit close, the bubonic plague, which probably most people have heard of, you know, 1347 to 1351. Notice that had a four-year window. Um, so even the worst plague in the history of planet came and went. Then they have smallpox, Spanish flu, plague of Justinian, that was, you know, 1500 years ago. Uh, and then we look forward and then somewhere along the line, we've got this little dot uh, that represents the, the current uh, coronavirus. So, you know, what can we say about that? Well, we certainly don't want this thing to grow. So what kind of measures are in place? So this is right out of the CDC, the Centers of Disease Control. Uh, they say if we take measures to slow the rate of infection, guess what? We will slow the rate of infection. What are those measures? Well, we can wash our hands. Um, we can improve our nutrition. We can decrease our social interaction. Um, you know, and, and so in many ways, they're recommending quarantine. 
So without measures, what, what are they suggesting? It would actually peak very rapidly and then decline very rapidly. What's the advantage of having it spread slower? Well, guess what? People can get care that need care and we won't overwhelm the health system. So I think a thinking man would say, yeah, this makes sense. Let's slow this infection. So what are we gonna do while we're keeping to ourselves, right? Or keeping in quarantine. Uh, and that's what the opportunity is gonna about. But I wanna, I wanna say something else here too. Um, so I heard the phrase, you probably heard the phrase, the elephant in the room, what's the big issue that for whatever reason, no one's talking about. So here in the US, this is from the CDC, you know, six out of 10 adults have a chronic disease. Now what's a, a chronic disease? That's one that, um, you know, medicine really doesn't have an answer for. They can suppress the symptoms, but the disease isn't going to go away with medicine. Four in 10 have two or more. Now, can diseases resolve? I promise you, every one of them can. How do they do that? Well, how about becoming healthier where your body functions at a higher level, where the process of the disease doesn't take over and doesn't increase? So when you start looking at overweight and obesity, 71% I should have another red one there. 71% of the US population uh, is overweight or obese with 42% being overweight. So what does that set you up for? Well, believe it or not, almost every known illness. Obesity is a sign that something's wrong on the inside. It carries with it an inflammatory process and alterations of the immune system, cancer risk, and things like that. When you look at mental health, the American Journal of Public Health says this 80% of adults are either mentally or emotionally, these the term not flourishing. What does that mean? It means you're, you're not as happy as, as you could be or as even is ideal. Why is this important here in our topic of this virus? Well, it's been known for well over 50 years, there's a field called psychoneuroimmunology. Every thought you think has an impact on your brain and immune system. So we wanna create good thoughts pretty powerful study out of the uh, Mayo Clinic, proceeds of the Mayo Clinic. They found that 97.3% of Americans don't have baseline four good habits a day, a pretty good diet. They exercise 150 minutes a week. They don't smoke and they're not over fat. So how many people out there are really healthy? Not enough. I've talked about the Magnificent Seven for years. You've got to eat right, drink right, think right, move right, sleep right, poop right, talk right every day. And guess what? Uh, about one in a hundred, maybe, uh, if we throw in all of those seven. So the elephant in the room is pretty simple. The reason the world is very worried about this is because they haven't been proactive about their health. So we want to take measures to slow the infection, and that might mean some level of isolation. Now, what are you going to do when you're in isolation? I'll start introducing our opportunity here in terms of health and, and wealth. So this is our CEO, Paul Caldwell, and he had a, a very nice company-wide message. He has collaborated with top business leaders on the planet, leaders from Apple, from Johnson & Johnson, you know, and they're saying, how, how can we make this world better? Well, when you look at what Organo stands for, we've got super high quality standards. We've got USDA certified organic Ganoderma. We'll talk a little bit about that in, in a few moments. We're an EcoCert company, we're a kosher company, we're halal, we're processed in a GMP facility. We're green for the planet. Everything that we're investing in is renewable and sustainable. We change with the market and we're a worldwide business. So we are operational in China. We get our herbs from China. So we have been seeing what's been going on and we have been pro proactively ahead of this for an extended period of time. The herb that's in, by the way, coffee or tea, and those are our primary delivery systems, but we also have shakes and that can help with the overweight circumstance. I literally looked this up this morning. This is PubMed. This is the National Library of Medicine, National Institutes of Health database. And I typed in the search Ganoderma lucidum plus immune. And then you can take a look and see, but the 171 studies. Now, does that mean much? Well. No, not, not a lot. 171 different studies have looked at what does Ganoderma do for the immune system. But I think you'll find it pretty amazing when you start looking into 
what this has been studied against, including some really bad viruses, including some really bad cancers. So we won't make any claims. Again, our Federal Trade Commission does not allow any type of claim. And the reality is there's no evidence for anything against this coronavirus yet. But let's share some a little bit of social proof. So this is a uh, medical oncologist who does integrative oncology. What that means is that she uh, works with both natural and conventional remedies. When she started the study Ganoderma, she said, Dr. Bob, my patients need to know about this. Would you do a Zoom with me to share the benefits for our patients? Absolutely. Now, keep in mind, uh, anybody can watch the Zoom. I'm happy to share it. What do we share? We share what the science says about what this can do to improve health, especially people fighting for their lives. Another case, an integrative oncologist, um, this is Dr. Jen out of uh, Philadelphia, Jen Simons, and she was on Good Morning uh, America. Powerful, powerful woman. Same story. She said, Dr. Bob, will you share with my patients what this can do? So we see people with credentials that are saying, wow, there's something to this. The population needs to know more. How are you going to know more? Well, I'm happy to link you up with those Zooms, or you can go and do your own PubMed search. I'm going to encourage PubMed, not what John Doe wrote on, you know, somewhere on Google, because quite frankly, John Doe may have an ulterior motive and maybe no background to make a, a comment at all. But I promise you, PubMed can make comments on this, and these integrative oncologists can add their two cents on it. So where does the opportunity come in? You know, I like to share stories, and, and this is uh, one of my wonderful friends, Diane Solano, and her son, Dylan. It was about five years ago, I was teaching a health seminar, uh, and Diane approached me and she said, Dr. Bob, I, I know it's been a while since we talked. Uh, I've become a mom, that's the good news. Uh, become a single mom, that's the challenging news. So I went from, you know, putting my practice on hold uh, to, you know, not necessarily having a revenue stream. And, and now I, I need to get back on my feet fast. Do you have any suggestions? And I shared with her this organo opportunity. I said, look, we have healthy coffee. We have healthy tea. Uh, it meets the highest health standards that I'm aware of. People are drinking it anyways. How about reaching out to your friends and, and sharing what this can do? And by the way, I'm here to help you. The entire company's there. They've set up world-class distribution. We're operational in 36 countries. Um, you know, we've got experts in business. Our role in this business is literally just sharing this product. We don't make any claims. We share it, say, drink it, see how you feel. Diane built a massive international organization without traveling. How did she do that? Well, guess what? People are everywhere. You can put something in the mail. You can, you can reach out to a country that are operational say, hey, I have a friend in the Philippines. Can you share? And within weeks, her, her uh, business was international. And now she's enjoying traveling the world with her, with her son. So Organo has eight different ways of getting paid. I promise you I'm, I'm not going to spend time getting into the details because you can get lost and you can Google it. But let's just say that if you could share with 10 people this amazing product and they, they all found a way to share or consume $100 a month worth of product, well, your business is off and running and you're going to earn some level of residual income. Uh, if those 10 share with 10, suddenly you grow to 100. If those 100 share with 10, 1,000. Uh, if those 1,000 share with 10, 10,000. And the money grows exponentially. Now, again, we can't make any level of income claims. But what I will tell you is that people like Diane, people like myself, working mostly out of home with this business have built wonderful businesses. The company Organo not only has healthy coffee and tea and shakes, they've invested in a travel company. Every time I travel, and I realize the world travel is on hold right now, I will check with Travala and every time I've checked, they have better deals on the lodging where we're gonna stay. Millions of partnerships all over the world, part of what you can get into with the company Organo. And then they have healthy skincare. Uh, all natural, no parabens, no sulfates. They're not cruel to animals. This is certainly gluten-free. You know, they, they have moisturizers, they have Manuka honey products, they have jojoba oil. Um, and, and this has stood the test of time of being a quality skincare product and people get to enjoy it and look better doing it. So how is the company Organo making the world better? 
Well, especially in times like this, they don't want any barriers to entry. So you can actually sign up to be a distribution partner in Organo for $9.95. The company has taken care of the research and development, the packaging, the branding, the global distribution, the websites, the customer service. We just need to share it with our friends. $9.95, you can become a distribution partner. Now, who do you become a distribution partner with? Well, really all of us. But your role is to go back to whoever has introduced you to this Zoom, this webinar, this Facebook, and say, you know what, for $9.95, this makes a lot of sense. I want to get in. My own experience, I've been putting out information daily to help the world stay up to date on solid scientific news for the coronavirus. Five different people have reached out to me and said, Dr. Bob, I want to be a part of what you're doing. Well, you can be a part of what I'm doing through whoever has introduced you to this Zoom. I wanna encourage you to do that. Organo has stepped up. They're sharing treasures with the world. Another fun story, my son Jacob actually introduced me. He got a huge financial reward uh, at age 21. We're not supposed to make income claims, so I won't. Let's just say at age 21, uh, someone who had just one semester of college, he earned more money that year than I did my second year as a professional, literally treating by then world-class clientele. He met the wife of his dreams, had time to share beautiful courtship with her. Now they're full-time parents taking care of our first grandbaby, beautiful Lily. What did they do? They took advantage of health freedom. They bought into it. They said, that makes sense. They learn to share the skincare products, they learn to share the travel benefits, and now they're enjoying what they will call total freedom. So what's your homework here? I want you to reach out to people and see if in this time of crisis, they would be interested in putting something into their body that has over 171 related PubMed studies regarding the immune system. You can read them and see what it does, but remember the pros say, you know, this is, this is pretty good and you should probably consume it. And for $9.95, you can become a business partner in a world-class company with world-class products. Now the next step's up to you. What's your homework assignment? It's actually pretty simple. One person, just one person. Share with one person today. And I promise you, if that one person literally takes a look at it, Something in there ought to give them hope, give them inspiration, and who knows, maybe that will be the next person that creates their dream life. I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, absolutely knowing that we can all be happy, healthy, and successful.